Jason right here. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about, uh, in my opinion, what are the best features of Active Campaign. So there's a lot of features and a lot of things you can do. And I've been using this platform for almost nine years. And that's always been the case. And it's always changing. They're always improving things and switching things around. But when I think of the core fundamentals that uh, we do at our company and the most successful people uh, do, get something out of a platform like this. Uh, that's what I want to focus on in this video. So thing number one is you, you've got to use it, right? You've got to use it. You want to make sure that you've got um, a way for contacts to get into your account besides you just manually entering business cards or something like that. So, you know, having a website, having a way that people get in here is key because if people can't automatically get on your list, then the whole marketing automation idea is not really going to work real well. You can still add them in there and, and have it work after the fact, but it takes away one of the best pieces. Um, I have found that the relationship between the deals pipeline, all right, the deals pipeline and the automations that are triggering behind the scenes with movements, turning on, turning off is the most powerful thing. Uh, if you sell anything in your business or you do anything that involves a lot of money, so you could raise capital for real estate. You could sell a high ticket service like I do. Marketing automation is going to be your friend. Um, like I've said in uh, other videos and I've said many times, if somebody doesn't buy on the first conversation, what's your plan? Uh, for me, this presented options to, right? This is what I've done on a sales call. This is where people go if they don't buy on the first sales call. And the automations uh, that changed our business and changed our life. Uh, and, th and there's nothing crazy in them, but they're just uh, super important. Or, or started like this, right? Step two is this presented options to, and there's currently 14 emails. And you can look at those open rates. I'm just going to leave that there. You'd love to see, you know, 25% or more. Those open rates are really, really high. Go all the way out to email 14, still a 60% open rate over a year later. It's insane. It's absolute insanity. There is uh, 10 text messages, two ringless voicemails in here as well. <coughs> this automation is, in my opinion, some of the, uh, it captures some of the most beautiful things in active campaign. Um, I get off of a sales call. I move them forward in my pipeline. That pipeline stage is the trigger for this automation. And then I've got my, my sequence, right? I've got my weights, I've got my times and my days of the week. I want stuff to move and not move. Two-way text and email. And the goal of this automation, if I skip to the bottom, and here's a key, the goals in active campaign are one of the, my favorite things. And what that means is if somebody buys uh, or if somebody uh, says they want to buy, right? Verbal commitment, or somebody's like, never talk to me again. Any of those things, when it takes place, they'll jump down to this goal. So let's say, you know, somebody's up here. One of those things happens. Let's say they buy, they jump from where they are down to this goal and they exit. And the reason that's powerful, I don't want to nurture anybody longer than I need to. I only want to nurture them enough for them to do the thing I want them to do. In my opinion, active campaign has the absolute cleanest, easiest to follow, uh, automation builder. As you see, there's different programs in here. You can put in Slack notifications, web hooks, integrate it with a lot of stuff out there. Uh, and it's just really easy to follow from top to bottom. You notice I'm not using a bunch of conditional logic. We keep our automations very linear and we keep them goal driven. So we nurture for generally one, one goal. In this case, there's a couple options here, but really, really powerful stuff. Um, Something that I recommend strongly is having the correct custom fields in your account that capture or have the ability to capture the information that's important to you. So from active campaign, you'll get, you know, these top six um, and everything else is, oh, excuse me, a custom field that I created because that's stuff I wanted to know. Um, you can organize things in these different uh, groups, it's just a way to organize custom fields, a couple different groups. Uh, as well. But if you don't have room or spots for the information that's important to your business, uh, your CRM is not going to be super effective for you, right? Uh, let's see if I pull up, see if I can pull up if I've got myself in here somewhere. 
I do. All right. If I pull up somebody in the CRM, this is me. Uh, you can see what it looks like, right? Some of the stuff needs to be adjusted. Like this is just a dummy, um, a dummy contact, but having the information that's relevant is uh, important for me. I, I really like to know lead source. Um, I don't need to know address. So, you know, I'm running the digital business here. So, uh, first name, last name, email, phone number, lead source is the stuff I care about the most. At a glance, I can see the list they've been on, tags they've had, automations. Active Campaign does this CRM, CRM view extremely well. It's very clean, it's very powerful. The biggest tragedy that there is is not using it at all. Uh, you could add tasks in here, you can add notes. Uh, if you use the two way texting through sales message, it'll automatically put notes here as well. So just comparing active campaigns, deal pipelines, their automations, and their CRM, it's about as clean as it gets. Very, very clean. Um, they've made recent improvements with their templates and their forms, and they're better. They're better than they were. They're not the greatest thing. Um, there's, you know, landing page builder, it's pretty simple. It's definitely not the greatest. It's it's pretty simple, but their real power is uh, I still lean on emails pretty heavily. I still enjoy emails, uh, find value, right? They help me grow my business. And uh, my last newsletter, 32% open, another 24% uh, that are Apple privacy open. So these could be real people or these could be Apple's mail privacy protection. So at least 32%, which I'm happy with that. Uh, low bounces, low unsubscribes. Uh, I use simple templates, right? Very simple. But the key for me is just this uh, passive customer journey footer. And, and this can be applied for any business. So every time I'm sending out an email, it doesn't matter what I say. People will forget it in a few days, but I put this in front of them. I get to put a PS in front of them. And that does lead to sales and more things happen in the business. So um, active campaign to kind of summarize some of the best features. I think the user interface is excellent. The user experience is excellent. Uh, they're not new, right? They've been around a pretty long time, probably at least a decade. Um, price point, I would say, is, is fair. Uh, it integrates with a bunch of stuff. You know, you can integrate it with Facebook lead ads and run it right in. But the automations, the pipelines, the custom fields. And, and you know, if you click on a contact anywhere, uh, it's basically the CRM view, right? So. Um, being able to, you know, pull that up and see the information that's important in your business is really big. Um, if you're somebody that wants to set tasks, I mean, you can create, you know, reminders to reach out to these people. Uh, it's got everything you need. I hear people complain about active campaign all the time. And, uh, you know, in this training, uh, we do talk about active campaign and go high level. Uh, I have both. I pay both companies a lot of money. And I will tell you, because I don't have a dog in the race, um, I think Active Campaign has a nicer looking automation feature. Um, is Go High Levels more powerful? Yeah, but it's more complicated as well. Active Campaigns is powerful enough that you wouldn't ever need anything more, in my opinion. The CRM view is similar between the two, but again, cleaner, sharper, doesn't look like it was made in the 90s. Um, so those things uh, I, I really like about Active Campaigns. So uh, their pipeline features are almost identical. I mean, there's almost no difference. So um, they look pretty much the same, but Active Campaign's goal feature in the Active Campaign is superior. Uh, there's workarounds and go high level, but to keep it simple, the goal feature, the conditional logic's a bit easier to work with. Um, it is still my back end for my company. Uh, I will use high level for their funnel builder, their pages and that type of thing. And if I didn't have this, I would use it and be fine, but I'm not planning on moving my business out of active campaign anytime soon because it works really well. And to be honest with you, I don't want to mess with all the work, right? So one thing that I see often is people will sign up for active campaign, they go cheap and they want to just get the most basic package. I'm telling you, if you don't have this deals pipeline, you don't have a visual representation of where your leads are in your business and you can't see that and you don't know what's, you know, what kind of nurture is taking place. It's going to put you to disadvantage. It really will. So the best features um, come in like the the plus level. And right now, at the time of this video, they're playing around with new package names and descriptions and prices. So it can be really confusing because they move that stuff around all the time. But 
the plus level historically is really, really good. And I would say it's probably uh, what 90 plus percent of my clients use. Okay. Uh, hope this is helpful. I hope if you have active campaign or if you want to sign up, um, you can watch this. You can look at some low hanging fruit and at least start taking some action and getting some things together, you know, and having some kind of a, you know, automation that welcomes people to your list when they opt in. Uh, at some point, something that nurtures them to book a call is probably not a bad idea either. Okay. Um, I will tell you, since you're paying attention, uh, I am a platinum reseller of active campaigns. So whether you have a new or an existing account, if you want to save 10% off the list price monthly or annually, just let me know. Uh, there's no contract. There's no downside. There's no risk. The only thing you lose is the ability to go down into the plan and change your plan level. You come through me for that, but you save money. Uh, you save money and you get us as a first, first line of support as well. Okay, Something to think about. All right, those are some of the best features. Uh, my favorite things about Active Campaign as a longtime user, somebody who's worked in 600 plus accounts uh, in July of 2024. So currently, this is my, my stuff. Uh, this is my opinion. These are the things I focus on. And it's made a huge difference in my business and my life. Hope it helps you as well. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Drop it in the school discussions and we will chat it up. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon.